Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make butter cookies, also known as shortbread cookies. These are super easy to make. They only require a handful of ingredients that you most probably have on hand, and they don't require any eggs, which is great for you guys who don't eat eggs. I'm gonna show you how to customize this recipe three ways. So we're going to be making some jam thumbprint cookies, some snowball cookies, and some hazelnut slice and bake cookies that you can dip in chocolate. These make great Christmas presents. I've already given them all away um, as presents to my friends, um, but you can eat them any time of the year because I know it's a little bit late for Christmas. So let's get started. We're going to begin by making the base recipe for which you want to add one cup of soft unsalted butter to a bowl. Also toss in half a cup of confectioners or powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you want to cream these ingredients together using a wooden spoon or whisk or whatever you like to use to mix. When your result is a velvety smooth mixture, you also want to dump in two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And this is the last ingredient for the base recipe. Once you've worked all the flour into the butter mixture, you'll be left with a thick sand colored dough, which we will be using for all of the next recipes. So we're gonna start by making the thumbprints, for which you wanna scoop a tablespoon of the dough and roll it into a small ball between your hands. Place the mounds of dough onto a parchment lined cookie sheet a little bit apart, and using your thumb, you wanna press into each ball of dough, making a small indentation. Now you'll notice that when you press the ball of dough down, you might get a couple of cracks. Now you can either smooth the cracks out using your fingers, but I actually find that you get the least amount of cracks when you press the ball of dough immediately after rolling it out. Now I have here about half a cup of raspberry jam and I'm just gonna take about half a teaspoon and dollop it into each crater. You could use any kind of jam you like, I just like the raspberry kind because it's tart and it's sweet and it's just perfect for these cookies. Now you wanna bake the cookies at 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 17 minutes depending on how crispy you like the cookies. Now I'm also gonna do a drizzle for these cookies, which is totally optional, but here's how you make it. I have a cup of confectioner sugar to which I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of water and just stir it in until you get a nice runny glaze-like consistency. Once the cookies are out of the oven and they've had a chance to cool, you can drizzle atop that glaze. I do this in a Ziploc bag with the end snipped off, but you can do this in a piping bag or even using a spoon. I love the combination of tart jam with buttery cookie. This butter cookie variation is fun, festive, and definitely great for the holiday season. Now we're going to get started with the snowball cookies. To that basic butter cookie recipe, you're going to add a cup of very finely chopped walnuts. You can also use pecans or any other nut that you prefer. And just work the nuts into the dough as best as you can. You can also throw in some mini chocolate chips if you would like. Like the thumbprint cookies, you want to scoop one tablespoon size mounds of the dough and just roll it into a spherical shape. Place the cookie balls onto a parchment lined cookie tray and you don't want to press down because you want them to retain that spherical shape and bake for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees. The cookies will puff up slightly as they bake. Now these don't really look like snowballs yet but we're going to coat them with confectioner sugar and that will hopefully help. So while the cookies are still warm you want to coat them with some confectioner sugar and it's going to melt immediately onto the cookie and this is totally fine because we're going to do this twice. When the cookies have cooled completely, you're going to coat them again in the confectioner sugar. And here's when they will start to look like snowballs. Because the butter cookie recipe itself isn't too sweet, I like the sweetness that the confectioner sugar adds. These cookies will melt in your mouth, and there's really no better time to serve them than now. Now for a final variation, the hazelnut chocolate dipped slice and bake cookies. So you're going to add one cup of chopped hazelnuts to the butter cookie mixture. When the hazelnuts are more or less combined into the cookie dough, you're going to dump it out onto a cling film lined surface and you just want to form a log shape using your hands. Now I actually like to divide the dough into two portions and make two separate logs because it makes it a whole lot easier to store. The logs should be about two inches in diameter and you just want to tightly wrap them in that cling film. Chill the logs in the refrigerator for a minimum of one hour or until they're nice and firm this step is necessary in order to slice them properly. So after that time is up, you can unwrap the log from the cling film, then using a sharp knife, cut slices that are about half an inch or one centimeter thick. Place the slices onto your parchment lined cookie sheet, and you know the drill, bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes, or maybe even for a couple more minutes if you like your cookies a little bit crunchier. 
In the meantime, you want to melt 200 grams of chocolate of your choice. I used a combination of milk and dark, and I like to do this in the microwave, stirring after every 20 seconds or until melted. Then add in a teaspoon of vegetable oil and just stir it in. This just helps keep the chocolate nice and glossy. And I also find that it keeps it melted longer at room temperature. Dip the hazelnut cookies about halfway into the chocolate and then place them back onto the parchment lined cookie tray so that the chocolate can set. So guys, let me know which variation you like the most. This one is probably my favorite because you can't go wrong with chocolate and hazelnuts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like the full printable recipe, it is available on my blog at hotchocolatehits.com. If you liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up or if you left me a comment down below telling me what you thought. For more recipes like this, don't forget to subscribe and I hope you guys have a very happy holiday season and I will see you next time. Bye bye.